Okay guys, so today I'm going to be making blueberry muffins because the other day I went to go berry picking and I chose to pick some blueberries, so I'm gonna do something with them. Okay, so first up we're gonna get our dry ingredients together. So I'm just gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder to the two cups of flour that we have. Okay, next up for the dry ingredients, we're going to add three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt um, just to balance out the sweetness that's going to come from the sugar. Okay, so the recipe didn't actually call for this, but I'm going to add half a teaspoon of cinnamon and then a fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg just to get a little warmth um, to the muffins. So now that all the dry ingredients have been measured out, you're just going to want to stir it together to fully incorporate the spices, salt, and baking powder all the way into the flour. <laughs> okay, so now we can set our dry ingredients to the side for a second, and I just added one stick of unsalted butter into the mixer. I find that cutting it up into chunks just helps a little bit, um, so it's easier to cream. And then we're going to add one cup of granulated sugar. We're just gonna add that into the mixer. Yay! <laughs> so it's been about two minutes now and our butter and sugar are fully incorporated together. And so now we're going to add the eggs one at a time. All right, the first egg is fully in there. So now it's time we can add a second egg. Okay, so honestly, this is my favorite part. I'm just adding a teaspoon of vanilla extract to the mixture. Um, I love vanilla extract. It smells amazing. Okay, I just added about half of the flour mixture, and I'm waiting for that to incorporate, and then I'm going to add in some of the milk. I added the last of the flour mixture, and now I'm just going to add the rest of the milk. And in between, I've been scraping down um, the sides of the bowl just to make sure that there isn't any like flour bits that haven't been fully incorporated into the batter. Okay, everybody, so the mixture is fully combined, and now it's time for our guest of honor. We're going to fold in all of these blueberries. All right, our blueberries are fully incorporated, and this recipe says that it makes 12 muffins, so I've gone ahead and I've lined a muffin tray, just because you don't wanna spend all this time making muffins to have them stick to the pan. And I'm going to use an ice cream scooper to start filling all of the muffin trays. Okay, so this actually ended up making 15 for me. Um, so I'm now going to top all of the muffins with a little turbinado sugar, also known as sugar in the raw, and that'll just give a nice sweet crunch on top of the muffins after they're done baking. All right, so now all of the muffins have been topped with turbinado sugar and they're about to go into the oven, which has been preheated to 375 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Clean up the tables and get everything back okay, in the so the muffins are done and they look the super good. So this is the finished product of blueberry muffins. Thank you so much for watching.